luncheon with the ambassadors. Uh, my name is Christopher Washington. I'm the provost at Franklin University, and I'm also a member of the board of Global Ties US and a proud member of the Ohio delegation. We have the Ohioans in the room. On behalf of our president, Jennifer Clinton, Global Ties board of directors, our key partner, the US Department of State, and our over 100 members organizations, we welcome you to this special luncheon. Uh, I ask uh, at this time that our diplomatic guests please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Today we have representatives from over 46 different countries. Uh, you can see the list of distinguished guests in our uh, program booklet. And I just want to tell our distinguished guests, we truly value and appreciate the work that you do in uh, advancing peace and prosperity in our world. And we look up to you. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with our organization, Global Ties US, we are a network of local, national, and international non-government organizations located in 45 states and 17 countries working to strengthen relationships between individuals and nations through international exchange programs. Together, the individuals in this room, along with 38,000 volunteers across our country, welcome nearly 5,000 current and emerging leaders from around the world to communities across America through the Department of State's premier professional exchange program, the International Visitor Leadership Program. We affectionately call it the IVLP. Uh, our goal in hosting you this afternoon is for you to get to know uh, the leaders of our network. Uh, these resilient leaders uh, who uh, help to open minds and to bust stereotypes, uh, they regularly host ambassadors in their communities. They connect with your consulates and the honorary consular corps. And so I'd like to share just a few examples from our network uh, of this uh, important relationship that we maintain with our ambassadors. Just three weeks ago, World Denver hosted an international visitors group of members of parliament from Mongolia who attended a reception with the ambassador from Mongolia at the home of the honorary council of Mongolia in Denver. Uh, the Mongolian members were joined by guests from Denver sister cities and World Denver. Are you here today? Are Denver contingent? Yes. And you know, as a result, our Denver group plans to send a cohort of Colorado citizens to Mongolia later this year on a reciprocal exchange. Way to go, Denver. <laughs> this year, the World Affairs Council of Seattle is our Seattle representatives in the house. All right. This group hosted four ambassadors uh, engaging with uh, Seattle leaders on specific areas of interest. They hosted the Colombian ambassador to the US, Juan Carlos Pinzon, the U Ukrainian ambassador to the US, Valerie Chalet, and the Canadian ambassador, David McNaughton. Thank you, Den uh, Seattle, thank you. Global, Minnesota's, Global Minnesota hosts an ambassador series. Are there representatives from Minnesota? in our room today. All right. Their series brings three to four ambassadors to Minnesota for public events that include meetings with the media and corporations, the diaspora and schools. In addition, Global Minnesota spotlights one country each year with six to eight events that educate the community about that particular country. Uh, this is a great way to bring attention to and grow economic, cultural, political, uh, and social ties to Minnesota. Our recent spotlights have, been, have featured Mexico, Germany, Korea, and Colombia. Distinguished ambassadors, if you are looking uh, to connect with a particular community to promote increased economic, cultural, media, diaspora, ties, uh, or to buttress, buttress your consular corps outreach efforts, there are likely individuals seated at your table who would welcome that particular opportunity. And I would also strongly encourage you to get in touch with us at Global Ties US. Thank you very much. And 
Enjoy your lunch. <laughs>